Although input fields will be the ones that are most likely need access restrictions, some non-input fields could also require different states set at different workflow stage and role combinations. The process used is the same as demonstrated in previous tutorials, but the main difference is that non-input fields contain no data for the user to modify. The state of read-only is therefore not applicable. You can select a text label object and check the state options available in the object's properties to see this. It might be necessary to hide text labels in some apps, but not in this example. Instead, we need to manage the states of the two buttons at the bottom of the page. Initially, when the app is open at the new request stage, we only want the submit button to be visible, but we would only want the next button to be visible at all other stages. As usual, we recommend that you always start with the stage and role set to all, so the general rule is defined first. Although you can do this in a couple of different ways, it's usually better to set the general rule as the states for most stage and role combinations. That would mean the next button is normal. And the submit button is hidden. The exception will again be at the new request stage. The next button is hidden and the submit button is normal. Now that both buttons cannot be visible simultaneously, you could consider moving them to the same position, but that's something you might prefer to do after initial testing. In another tutorial, we will look at working with access rules and groups.